it's Kim from BizNab Online and welcome to video number four of our free Gmail training series. And in this video, we're going to talk about the replying and forwarding a message feature inside Gmail. Now, I know a lot of you are going to be like, well, it's simple, Kim. It's simply reply and forward a message. But there are more features inside replying and forwarding a message that I'm sure you didn't know existed. So let's move on with video number four. Now when you're in your inbox, you can see your incoming mail being displayed with the subject and a short preview of the message text. Now to read an email, simply click on it and we will be taken to the email. Now to respond to an email, you scroll all the way to the bottom, obviously after you've read it, and there will be a box. And this box has the feature of you can either reply or you can forward. Simple. I'm going to click reply and simply start typing my response. When you're done, click the blue send button and Gmail courteously tells us at the top of the screen when our message has been sent. Now I'm going back to my inbox because I'm going to explain to you how a conversation thread actually works in Gmail. Now this is a conversation thread. That simply means that it's a just long conversation of emails and replies which have gone on between people. So what Gmail does is it groups it together so we can easily follow the conversation. And I know it's a conversation thread because there's a number besides the amount of the people that are in the email conversation or thread. So as an example, this conversation has two the number two next to the email itself. I'm going to click the mouse to get into the conversation and I can also see the date right within the email. Now Gmail places conversations from the earliest all the way down to the latest conversation in the bottom. To simply respond to the entire conversation all at once you simply click reply. It's going to reply to the last person that this email, that sent me this email in this thread, this conversation. And in this case, it's, it's Dustin. I can start typing and simply hit send, just like you do with a normal email. But I'm going to click the trash icon because I want to show you some more things and features. Now I can click reply to all to reply to everybody that's involved in this email. I can also include and add more people at any time by simply clicking the mouse right in this to field. I can add somebody else and they've now been added to that conversation thread. I don't want to do that so again I'm going to simply hit the trash icon. That person gets the email, isn't just going to be added to see this text. Clicking these three dots will show me everything that that person is going to see. Basically, Gmail has simply just summed up the entire conversation. So I, when I click reply to all, I click into the to field, I add somebody else, and they are going to get the entire thread conversation. I can click these three dots right here to see everything else that we're going to see. I'm going to click the trash icon again. I can also select forward. Forwarding will send the entire conversation basically to somebody else without including them in the entire thread. Now remember I told you that the earliest conversation was at the top and the latest was at the bottom. 
Well, what you can do is you can work with these messages individually. So to work with any message individually and not just the last one, you can get to the email that you want to work with and click on it. I can click this more text next to the email and there's something I can do just for that particular email. So as an example, I can reply only to this email, reply to all and forward just like we did with the latest one. Except now what we're doing is we're replying to a conversation that is in the middle of the conversation thread. I can also just click this quick reply button right here and reply just to this inline conversation. Now if I want to see at any time who is in a particular email, I simply come down here to any email that I want and click the drop down triangle and select show details. Now it can be a little confusing to see what's going on and this is a great way to see who a message is from, who it was to and when it was actually said. Now there are just another two more things that I want to show you. The first one is that I can start a complete new thread. I don't have to continue on with this conversation. Sometimes it can get a little long winded and it's really important to possibly maybe branch these conversations out into new conversations. So I'm going to click reply to all and instead of typing my response I'm going to click this triangle and choose the type of response. From here I'm going to choose edit the subject line. It's going to pop up an email that looks similar to the compose button and now you will notice that the subject line is in blue. Then I can simply type a brand new subject and a new message altogether. What this is going to do when I finally hit the send button will start a brand new email conversation thread. And if somebody replies to that email I just sent, it's going to be attached to this. It's going to be in my inbox as a brand new thread. Now you may not like to use conversation threads at all. So to turn them off, all you simply need to do is come over to the top right hand corner, click on the gear icon and select settings. It's going to take you to your um, Gmail settings and scroll down in the general tab and find the conversation view. And from here, you simply choose conversation off. That's it. So there are a lot more functions to simply replying and forwarding emails. Thanks for listening and I will catch you over in the next video of Gmail free training. And please do leave me a comment below and let me know how you are finding the training or if I've missed something, let me know. Bye for now.